So exciting to be with all this amazing energy. Please welcome our guest today. We've got Dr. Marjorie Dixon, who has delivered her share of twins. Janice Meredith, mummy of twins. The boys are Lachlan and Coral. And Karen Gordon, also mom to twins, Baron and Chase. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about your experiences as parents of twins, but also as a doctor, a fertility specialist, you are delivering twins often. I don't deliver them anymore. I used to, but now yeah. I make them. So I plan the now party. Now you make them. <laughs> I plan the some. party. I don't actually physically make them. I assist in the party planning to end up in sometimes twins. That's a good party planning business Isn't you have. Fun? I yeah. like that. Yeah. Event coordinator. I want to talk about how rare twins are. You know, we're dedicating today to them because they're really a special group. So mm -hmm. how rare is it? So it depends on the type of twins. Okay. So the twins that happen where an embryo is made and then it splits yeah. and they look identical they're girl girl boy boy same blood type everything those ones are rare so okay. those are one in 300 Ooh, yeah all right okay but if you are fraternal twins yes so that means that if there were your mom ovulated two eggs and then two sperm came from your father mm -hmm. or donor whoever whatever mm -hmm. the sperm and the eggs come together two people come from that those are fraternal twins right so in nature that's about one to two percent of the time Okay. But if someone like me gets involved and gives hormones to people, that's even more frequent. It's 27% of the time. So having right. fertility treatments and fertility specialists has increased the incidence of fraternal or non-identical twins. But you were saying to us backstage, that's not necessarily the goal. The no. goal is not necessarily to have <laughs> twins or triplets or multiples when you have a fertility specialist involved. Right. It's just that often happens. You're trying to up the chances yeah, of having to, one healthy exactly. birth. Exactly. So we always aim for one healthy birth. But yeah. when we statistically increase by giving people hormones, the likelihood that they'll ovulate more more than one egg. Yes. If the sperm show up and are happy with the eggs, then they'll get fertilized. Right. So we're aiming for one baby, but sometimes we get two. Occasionally yeah. we get three, but we don't aim for that. Okay. Nothing wrong with that, though. Yeah. Okay. I want to hear from Karen and Janice. How were you surprised at all when you found out uh, you were having twins? I was overjoyed. Oh, you I was were. overjoyed. In fact, I just kind of bawled. I bawled the whole time because I have we have lots of twins in our family. Yeah. My mom had twins that had died at seven days old, oh. and uh, my mom always wanted you know obviously you know we had the, the word twin was very highly valued in our family, and then we right. have twins every generation in our family, twice a generation. Right. From your mom. From my mom's side. side. Okay, so that's how it happens. So, so the, the, this whole thing about it's, it's skip the generation, generation. No is that skipping. kind of a myth? No, it's because myth. we have a twice a generation on our side, so and so coming, I was overjoyed. Coming yeah. from the maternal side, that's how it's right. inherited. So grandmother, mother, daughter. Mm -hmm. yeah. The, the non-identical twins. So the likelihood of spooting out two eggs at once yeah. that mm -hmm. the sperm is hereditary. It also is geographically related. So if you're of African descent, you're more likely for it to happen. But if the twins, yeah. the non-identical twins, come from your dad's side, it doesn't mean anything. Right. It's just so nothing to do with the dad's side. No. It's always so the maternal So where do we come side. up with this, this myth around that it skips a generation? Is that like a total myth? Oh, it's there's so many myths old out there. Wives tales? Like, it is. Okay. People carry yeah. a lot of stuff, right? Okay. Well, Janice, how'd you feel when you found out you were having twins? I'm totally in shock. I already had two others. Yes. So I went from having a third to having four. Yeah. So that was a little yeah. bit shocking. But it's good. It, and people had said, it was so funny, people had said, well, what were you expecting you were 35 trying to get pregnant I'm like I didn't know of this nobody had right. told me yeah, so you're that likely. once you're 35 your body's a mess nobody told me that I heard that like, when you when like around the 35 to 30 this is a question more for Marjorie like do they like our odds kind of go up they do See, yeah. I'm like asking all these, these all these ideas I've actually heard of it, it so that's I'm, true I'm debunking the myth but that you one's are. a real one that, so that when you're real older one. we're yeah. more likely eh? when we're younger we our brain sends hormones to our ovaries we release one egg it's all organized as we get older everything becomes a little less organized so you're right. more likely to release two eggs at a time and therefore the likelihood of twins fraternal again the non-identical twins Goes increase up. in your 30th decade yeah. In your third decade, right? So what do you need to consider if you are a parent and you are carrying twins? What are the changes that might be happening in your body biologically? So, <laughs> well, they're different in the different trimesters. So in the first trimester, for example, because your hormone levels, the beta HCG that comes from the placenta, is higher because you have two placentas, yeah. you'll feel nauseous quick. 
Right. So whereas some people have a little bit of morning sickness, if you're going to have morning sickness yeah. with twin pregnancies, it, see, look at their heads. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I had, it's I had a barf bag in my purse. Really? Oh, like I didn't have morning sickness. I had all day sickness. Oh. And, and you I, had a tough time. You were in bed rest at some point. I right had there? I had uh, four weeks of bed rest in my tr first trimester, mm -hmm. and then second was fine, and then my last trimester I was in I was in total four months of bed rest and severe bed rest. Mm. Like they really thought I was going to lose these kids. Mm. So I remember dreaming about finally giving birth to, and just dreaming about vacuuming. Like that's yeah. really, wow. because when you're in bed, when, like I felt like a paraplegic. When you're in bed for yes. four months, yeah. you're not allowed to get out of that bed. Yeah. I remember just fantasizing about vacuuming. Yeah. And um, so anyway, that, you know, I vacuumed and then, you know, <laughs> and then and then it went away, the fantasy. But I mean, really, it is like it's this whole idea where you just, when you, like it's, it's amazing what it does on your body. Right. Yeah. yeah. Janice, was it a tough pregnancy for you at all? No, and it was interesting because I did feel uh, more ill, but I had both a boy and girl before, so I knew it was completely mm. different than either of those pregnancies, mm -hmm, yes. so it was definitely different. Uh -huh. um, but actually, I couldn't get them. I just wanted them out, and I they were I was so big, and I went past overdue, and I was like, please just get them out. Uh -huh. Like I just wanted to move on. Twins so, are more likely to come early, actually. People you're, should know you're that. Less, I have like a chic boutique. You have yeah, chic my, boutique, yeah, and I'm like, it's I'm fancy like you. Okay, so so certain things to consider, but for sure we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about parenting twins because I'm sure mm -hmm. that people come up to you and say things all the time. Um, your advice, Karen, and we're going to be talking about this a little more later, is that having two at the same time is maybe not as stressful as having two at different ages when they're young. Totally. And you know what's so funny? I would have so many people like, oh my goodness, you have twins, that must be so hard. But I would look at my friends who have two children in two different ages, two singletons, I'm like, Honestly, I don't think most moms give an, themselves enough credit. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that is far more difficult than having yeah. twins because I just had to do the same two of everything, mm -hmm. right? They were in the same rhythm, the same For programs, sure. the same sleeping, the same eating, the sa you know, like everything was like the just double. Um, to me, that was so much easier than having two kids in two different ages. Look at her face. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm she's doubting you. Like, to be continued. 